Myasthenia gravis, abbreviated MG, is a neuromuscular autoimmune disease that affects the muscle. This means that the body's own proteins are attacked by the immune system leading to a disturbance in muscle function. In a normally functioning system, neurons and muscles interact with each other at contact points called synapses, where signaling molecules called neurotransmitters are released. When neurotransmitters bind to their receptors on muscle cells, the muscle contracts through a series of steps leading to the production of a movement. At the nerve muscle junction, there are these neurotransmitters called acetylcholine and the receptor is called the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor. In MG, those receptors are attacked by the body's immune system, which interrupts the process of nerve muscle transmission, leading to muscle weakness. Signs and symptoms include disturbances in gait, drooping of one or both eyelids, which is the most noticeable symptom of the disease, difficulty swallowing, and shortness of breath. Diagnosing the disease starts with a physical and neurological examination of the patient performed by the doctor to look for signs of muscle weakness. If MG is suspected, several tests can be performed to confirm the diagnosis. A special blood test can be performed to detect the presence of elevated levels of abnormal immune particles called antibodies. Electromyography or EMG can also be used to confirm the diagnosis. EMG measures the electrical signals elicited by muscle cells when the muscle is stimulated. In MG patients, repetitive muscle stimulation leads to a gradual decrease in signal due to impaired transmission at the nerve muscle junction. Multiple treatment options are available for the disease including anticholine steroids, which inhibit the breakdown of acetylcholine in the nerve muscle synapse, enhancing transmission and strengthening the muscle. Other medications include immunosuppressant drugs which act to block the abnormal antibodies from attacking the body's own receptors. Plasmapheresis is also used as a management option, which involves separating the patient's blood in order to remove disease-causing antibodies. The majority of early-onset myasthenia gravis patients show signs of thymic hyperplasia, which is the increased cell replication in the thymus, often leading to the enlargement of the gland. Research suggests that this increased cell proliferation creates a pro-inflammatory environment that triggers the cells responsible for regulating immunity, called T-lymphocytes, to react against the body's own particles. Despite the many advances in research in recent years, much of the information regarding the trigger of MG remains unknown. However, research suggests a potential genetic role in the initiation of the disease. It has been suggested that certain variants of the HLA-B alleles may be associated with the disturbance of self-tolerance displayed by the body's immune system to the body's own structural units. Other environmental factors may also be involved, such as viral infection. Hormonal influences have also been debated due to the high female-to-male ratio observed in patients with myasthenia gravis. If you are an MG patient living in Canada seeking support or a family member or caregiver of someone afflicted with the disease, please visit the Myasthenia Gravis Society of Canada at www.mgcanada.org.